What up, everybody? It's April Dawn. Let's talk about it. This is Greenleaf season mm, episode. Mm, it'll be right in the description box. So I thought this was a good episode. As always, high drama. So let's go ahead and get into it. So Lady May comes to Bishop with her redraft of the statement they're going to give the church. Um, She shades the hell out of him when she says, I have it in large print. Y'all didn't catch that? That was shade. I got it in large print because I know you can't see with your old ass. Okay, Um, it, uh, he says, it says nothing about your farewell. And Lady May says, she's staying. She helped build this church. She ain't going nowhere. And farewell for what? For, no, I ain't going no damn where. And so then we see Charity laid out on the couch. Child, Charity is a pitiful mess. Okay, while the baby is just crying and crying. We're supposed to believe that she's now in a big depression. She hooked on pills and shit like that. It just went so drastic for me. I guess I could believe it. It was more gradual, but it's like so drastic. It's kind of aggravating. I don't know. But I'm going to try to rock with it because I don't want to be insensitive. So the baby crying so loud, Marisol can hear. And Lady May comes in, tells Marisol to take the baby. And she says she's going to throw that whole pharmacy down the toilet if she don't get her shit together. And um, Charity is basically like, you know, ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm good. Ain't nothing wrong with me. And she says, um, Lady May is like, don't make me agree with Kevin about your fitness as a mother. And all Charity do is roll her ass over and go back to sleep. I said, child, a mess, honey, a mess. At the same time, Sophia is also in the bed. Zora comes up to apologize for how she treated her right before she went, got sick and went to the doctor. Um, you know, she made a joke about her being pregnant. Turned out the girl can't have no baby no more. So Sophia's like, I forgive you and I go to hell. And she says, I'm trying to apologize for what I did. And she says she don't want to apologize. She don't want an apology from somebody like her. I said, whoop, whoop, Zora feelings was hurt. Somebody like me, what you mean? Well, you know what? Forget you then. And she walks out. Gigi is right there in the other room because you know they stay right there by each other so Gigi is right there in the other room and she doesn't say anything she's a little distraught but you know kids gonna be kids she's trying to let her work herself out and just leave her alone or whatever so Darius calls Grace about a case for the legal fund that they have established um this is a woman it's all over the news a woman who killed her husband in her sleep with a hammer or something like this we see Rochelle and Bishop are meeting about the cryptocurrency, okay? Buy the coins and all those things that people are into now. And um, she's telling him that a lot of people can get rich quick. And, you know, uh, he's like, can we? I said, we? What the fuck? We? What that mean? Okay? The bishop is a mark, okay? I, I want everybody, every man that's over 45 to really pay attention to what I'm saying. These hoes be mark. Y'all are marks. So if you see this girl, this young, beautiful girl that's all up in your face, smiling, kicking, and grinning, and you got a little piece of coin or something for you to lose, be careful. I'm not telling you they out to get you, but just be mindful of that, okay? Because these young hoes be marking y'all. Bishop is going to feel so stupid because he think he doing something now because Lady May gone seem like he done got a little bit more petty. But he don't even know she about to take him for everything he got. Lady May, get out while you can, bitch. Get out while you can. Lady May calls home and Charity is still on the couch and she tells uh, Marisol to tell them to turn off the power in her suite and that should wake her up. At the same time, Miss Patterson arrives, Maxine Patty Bell arrives um, to lots of fanfare in the office. So, like everybody going up for um, Maxine. Corinne was so cute, like how she was stumbling over herself to meet Maxine. That was extra cute. So, Rochelle and Pasta, they come out into the hallway. I mean, they just, baby, they just out in the hallway like everybody ain't talking about them. But, you know, who am I? She comes out and then she's like, Lady May is up to something. What's she up to? Oh, the devil only knows. Now she all in your personal business? Like, <sighs> Bishop, what is you doing, friend? What is you doing, baby? Oh, no, baby. What is you doing? So a few minutes later, Rochelle meets with Darius and Grace about the fund and the lady, you know, that they trying to help. And so she tells them, you know, if the lady is who you think she is, you know, it's going to be all great, yada, yada, yada. So um, then she started flirting with Darius right in front of Grace's face. I'm like, really, bitch? This what you going to do? So you going to flirt right right here? Grace is looking like I'm looking because she going on about his shirt and how it fit. And, you know, she want to hear all about how it is to be a reporter, you know, and all that type of thing. And so... When she gets up to leave, um, Grace is like, yeah, she really trying to play me. You know what I'm saying? And Darius like, you worried? She's like, nah, I ain't worried. You know what I'm saying? I just got to keep my eye on her. And she go to kiss Darius. But Darius staring at her longingly. And, you know, part of me don't like Darius. But the other part of me is like, I hope a bug picks up in his ear. And he tries to investigate who she is. He is a reporter. And he can really find out who this hoe is. Okay? So, um, but I hope that, but even, even still... 
it would defeat Rochelle's purpose to get with Darius when she trying to lure, you know, the bishop in with her womanly wiles or whatever. So Lady May and Maxine are in the office and they're agreeing to some dates for her to speak at the church. And um, But Lady May tells her about how Charity's been having problems and Zoe and all the shit that's going on in the house. And Maxine says, listen, I know a doctor. She a soul doctor. And, you know, Lady May is like, is she discreet? Well, you know, she's not. But, you know, that's her. That's the power that she has. So go ahead and call her. Then we see Zora with her bad ass. Okay, she ain't gonna never learn. She go downstairs. She's in my mighty soul purse. You are not in. You are not in my soul purse. You are not. She is. She in her purse. Get her cell phone. And my soul walk up on her trying to you know use her cell phone to call that damn boy. And later on, Lady May tells her, "I told you the rules. No computer. No phone. No none of that shit. Okay, so you gonna be with me or you gonna be you know in this damn room?" And so she's like, "I hate it here. I ain't wanna go back home." And she like, "You don't hate it here. You hate yourself." Okay, you hate yourself because if you loved yourself, you wouldn't be letting nobody bust you upside your head like he did. Okay, sis, get your life together. So Zoria starts slamming shit and all that. Later on, she comes into the room and asks Lady May to use the phone. She calls her. She calls Clarissa and try to run game on her. Oh, she want to go home and X, Y, and Z. And you know, she all extra sweet and stuff. And I'm like, Clarissa be falling for that bull. So Clarissa go to Jacob and I was glad oh, Jacob vetoed her ass. Like, girl, hell no. Hell to the no-no. Okay, she's not coming back here. She was like, but you said we could talk about it. We talked about it and the answer is no. That's where she needs to be. She trying to run game on you, sis, but she's not going to do it to me. Not today. Okay, not on my watch. Not on my watch. We back with Charity, and guess who is there to help her? Miss Iyanla Van Zandt. Okay, so Dr. Van Zandt shows up, and y'all be saying she don't have no degrees. Dr. Van Zandt got degrees. She have a law degree. Okay, that's why we can call her a doctor. She don't have no psychology degrees, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. But Elijah shows up to help Charity. Um, she asked her why she's taking painkillers because all she sees is pain. She says nobody cares about her. She said, well, did she embarrass herself by marrying a gay man? And who told you that? And all of this. And she's like, it don't matter who told me that. You know, the question is on the table. And she said, well, it made her feel safe. Because she basically was like, bitch, you knew he was gay. Girl, you knew he was gay before you married him. Girl, we knew he was gay on the first episode of the show, girl. You ain't no sis, bye. She said he made her feel safe, and she never felt safe in her family, you know, and wanted. And she said, well, what do you need to feel safe and wanted? And right now, she don't really know. Sophia is in pain. Her boyfriend comes over to visit her, and he brings her a teddy bear. He, at, teddy bear, he asks her if she wants to pray. She said, no, she don't want to pray. He said, well, when I hurt my arm, you know, this is what helped me feel better. And she was like, hurting your arm is different from, you know, having to take hormones for the rest of your life and never being able to have kids. Like, he was like, well, there's a lot of barren women in the Bible who end up having kids or whatever. And she was like, I'm not barren. I'm sterile. There's two different things. I was like, child, he just got his shit and was like, bitch, I have Okay. Girl. <laughs> Girl, I'm about to go to the house. I don't, I don't want to hear this. She's just going through, okay? Her mom comes in, asks her about the little angels because uh, Sophia wants her to take over this Sunday. Well, have you talked to the lady? Are you going to go back? And she said, no, how can she stand up and talk about how good God is when he's not? You know, he has control. So why did he do let her? This happen to her and X, Y, and Z. Um, she didn't go to church for 20 years and Darius don't go to church. This does but this. I'm saying this. Why you get into that equally yoked thing? If you don't love the Lord and he don't love the Lord, you know what I'm saying? You a pastor. It'd be different if you was a regular person, but you a pastor and you go with somebody who don't go to church. And I mean, you can't say nothing, but yeah, you, yeah, girl, you right. She don't go to church. I mean, she don't, you know. And then we see Bishop and Lady May discover, um, discuss the statement. And, uh, you know, Lady May don't really put up a whole fight. She says she adds a farewell. She just wants to stay on through the day with Lady May. So this is something that she has every year. And uh, she wants to stay on through then. And then she's going to go on about her business, okay? But um, then we see later on at the church, we see her get up and do this whole thing about she changes everything. And her friend Maxine Patterson is going to be there and all these different things. And they make the announcement. It's a big shock. You know, Charity sang on that Sunday. And everybody's like, oh, my God. <gasps> like you thought somebody got killed in front of the church the way the people was acting child she gonna stay on and do the day with lady may and uh x y and z so i think they either gonna try to take a do a coup right and take some of the members from the church i don't know exactly how it's gonna work but y'all already know lady may got something up her sleeve now earlier than that we see charity talk to her parents and um, she basically tells them how she feels. And, of course, as old people do sometimes, they assume that when you tell them how they feel, how you feel, they're blaming, you're blaming them 
And you know, Lady May, she is she have no empathy. She like, you need to get yourself together. I can't get yourself together for you. And you know, she go off on her. And then when Elania and Maxine are leaving, she tell you like, I don't appreciate you, you know, um, putting her up against me to say those things and X, Y, and Z. Elania is like, look, girl, I ain't got time for this shit. When you're ready to talk about your pain, you come holler at me, okay? But until then. Girl, I don't want to talk about all that, okay? I'm about to go. We also see that while they were at the church, Zora does sneak into one of the offices and she starts chatting or talking with Isaiah. And um, she just ain't never going to learn, y'all. I feel like Zora going to run away and get pregnant or something because, you know, you got one cousin who can't get pregnant and you have a real trifling-ass cousin who can. So I feel like we're leading ourselves to that war, that storyline. Or the boy, or she going to run away with him and he really going to beat her up. So I, I don't know, you know. He going to beat her up. It's inevitable that he going to beat her up regardless if she get back with him so you know um it's just a, a how she gonna respond to that is she gonna come back home and she finally gonna humble herself because zora's just one of the people that have to hit their head against the wall to know that it's hard you know what i'm saying so uh we'll see what happens with that whole storyline um we also see that child i think that's it charity da -da -da. I feel like I'm missing something, but um, if I am, y'all just put that in the comments. But all in all, it was a very good episode. Uh, oh, we see at the end of the episode that Sophia walks out to the water. She tells her mom she's not going back to church no more. She makes it very clear she's not going back to church. She walks out. She has a ring or a necklace or something. I think it's like a pure life necklace or something like that. You know how when they say they're going to be a virgin. I'm not exactly sure the significance of the necklace, but she takes it off and throws it in the lake. This is where Faith killed herself. She throw it in the lake and she walks away so we're gonna see she's having a real crisis of faith didn't i predict this didn't i tell y'all she was gonna be having a crisis of faith i told y'all that shit i told y'all i told y'all niggas i told y'all niggas i told y'all niggas all in all i feel like this episode this season has really good writing so far i'm excited to see where it's going darius can go at this point he can stay or he can go i'd rather him go um zora is trash she can go like i don't even care girl run away with that nigga let him beat you beat you down to the floor so you can come back home and get your life right with the lord okay because at this point y'all are not gonna be able to talk no sense to her y'all not gonna be able to punish her enough it's nothing you can do but let her go out there and see what the world is like when you don't have money and um a nice home to fall back on when you live in the roach motels with a funky boyfriend who busts you upside the head anytime the wind blow okay so bye zora bye bye okay um grace grace I feel like she should be a little bit more worried about Rochelle than she is. And like I said, Bishop is a mark. So um, I feel like we didn't see Tasha on this episode, but um, I do feel like Tasha is going to be the one to help take Rochelle down. So I definitely want to hear your thoughts. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all, next week my videos are going to be late just like they were this week because I'm going into rehearsals. I rehearse, just to give you an idea, I rehearse from Tuesday through Friday from 6.30 to 10.30 at night. I have to be at work at 7.25 and I teach voice lessons when I get off of work. So my schedule will be jam-packed. I won't have a whole lot of time to make videos in the evening time. I'm going to try to do the best that I can to get them out to you on time okay but they probably won't be edited to the you know perfection and they probably won't be very very long and thorough like I normally do I'm gonna try to do my best y'all just hang with me okay we only in rehearsals for a month after that I will be back to the regular schedule program so I want to hear what you guys thought about this episode like I said don't forget to like and subscribe I will holler at y'all next week peace